whose fault is it? Cause break it off and get cut from it, say yeah I did it. Five came on that day just cause I'm trying to be hot living. Good luck, that shit said it all like 20 niggas and we all living. Alright man, I heard you wanted to be a motivational speaker. Can you talk more about that? Uh, yeah, basically I'm just like, I'm just always kind of just speaking, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm just kind of the one out of my friend that's always like, yo, we gotta do this. Um, you know, kind of just, you know, just making everybody tighten up. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of, that's kind of how I was, kind of how I started. I just noticed I like to speak. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, did Kanye ever respond to emails from Kanye West? Nah, Kanye, <laughs> Kanye responded. Alright, uh, can you talk about living in Egypt? Uh, so yeah, so I lived in Egypt. My father um, was a bodyguard for uh, the royal family in Saudi Arabia. So we lived in Egypt and I went to, I just I remember going to uh, international school. And uh, yeah, we'd go to like the pyramids every weekend and I remember I had like that's crazy. Uh, you grew up on Mozart, Beethoven, InSync, and Eminem. Who exposed you to all this? Uh, it was a little, it was it was more than that. That's how it, that's how it kind of started. Um, as far as Mo Mozart and Beethoven, my father was kind of uh, like he, he he. I remember he forced he forced he forced me to listen to to classical music. And at the time I was young, so you know I I, I didn't really understand it. And he take me to opera. And as I grew older, I learned to appreciate it more. Um, you know, just just out of my love for music. As far as NSYNC, that's kind of like you know, that's kind of what that's that's kind of some of the first music I heard. Just being a kid, my mom would put on the, the, the pop station. And, and All right, I know you're a big Dipset fan. Oh, absolutely. And uh, how did it feel to connect with them? Um, man, it was crazy. Uh, Jim, uh, me and Jim actually worked together. Uh, that's actually the homie. I met Cam one time at V Files. I remember not, I didn't even want to ask for a picture, only because like when I when I met, I always said when I met Cam, I wanted him to already know who I was. Like he's one of those people just because you know it's Cam. But I remember uh, you know seeing Cam and me and my OBC team was just we, we didn't even want to ask for pictures. We ended up getting it. But it was not like bringing out Joel's last um, like two nights ago in New York when the tour stopped in New York and performing all the classics, put them on stage, that shit was like, What's the realest thing you ever wrote? The realest thing I ever wrote? Uh, I feel like it's something off no hard feelings, probably. Yeah, probably this, uh, this song called uh, Roses, maybe. That's one of them. Do you remember how it went? No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm lying. Uh, this song called Oath. So I know I feel it's crazy. It's going to be Y'all never heard, y'all never heard, it's kind of, uh, it's. Uh, do you remember your first rap ever? Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> it was like, uh, it was to the, it was to the Ray J and I think Lil' Kim, wait a minute, and it was, <laughs> it was like, I wanna holla at you, go holla at you, go holla at you. That was kind of the hook. And then I did another one to a Ja Rule, you know, I did that on the boombox. I was like, I was, I was legit. All right, thanks, man. Is there anything else you want to add? Look out for that. Know how feelings. It's gonna be a big project. Um, one of the realest projects of the year. And uh, yeah, good luck. Be out here.